Creality Cave On, new king of open source 3D printers, like a baby and nursery. I think Creality intentionally made Cave On to be upgraded as well, because you can see thousands of designs on the internet that can be 3D printed with your Cave On to make it perform better. I chose popular and reasonable upgrades to show you in this video. Your printer will change from this to something like this. Ok, let's get started. This door of Cave On made so many problems in 3D printing community. Ok. But that's the door, and those are little shards of glass. <laughs> Luckily, many people designed nice hinges that can be 3D printed and replaced it for 270 degree of door opening. So I chose these curate hinges by Mordiev. And let's print one. It's working so smooth, but there is one more problem. Let's fix that. The door is perfect now. Everything is magnetic, like iPhones do. Alright, let's move on. The next problem with Cave On is on its lid. You know, the lid is so close to the bolting tube of the extruder, making it harder to extrude the filament because the tube here made so sharp turns. One way is to remove the lid while printing simple materials like PLA or PETG, but when you are printing ABS or nylon, it should be closed for higher chamber temperature. So we should raise the lid by putting some extenders. There are a lot of lid extenders designed specifically for k but I chose new k riser by way to do and I'll show you the reason later. But before, let me tell about the sponsor of this video. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. If you don't have a 3D printer or you can't print advanced materials, you can reach to PCBWay for them to print your model for you. Apart from 3D printing, they provide plenty of services including PCB prototyping, assembly, flexible PCB and so on. They can do different kind of PCBs depending on your project. Even you can do CNC milling, laser cutting and injection molding. Simply upload your CAD file and just order it. If you want to know price of your project, you can use their hand calculator before ordering for instant quote so you can estimate price of your project they have thousands of reviews and clients worldwide visit pcbway.com for more information now we can continue the video We can Mission failed. Now we can put it to the top and fix it with screws. The lid has magnets on its corner, but Creality provided only two magnets, on this corner and on this one. So we should put screws to this corner and to this corner, so once we close the lid, it can attach to magnets. 
From now, if you want to print lower temperature materials like PLA or PETG, your chamber should be cooler. In this case, you can leave these holes open. But if you want to print higher temperature materials that requires your chamber should be hot, in this case, uh, you can close these holes like with rotating. This looks like a radiation sign, which is a very clever design. Ok, we can keep the temperature inside the chamber now. But K1 doesn't have built-in chamber heater inside. But it has nice AC bed, so we can use that as a heater for chamber. I have a nice upgrade for that. Let's print one. For this upgrade, we will need more tools than usual. After some further tweaks, now chamber keeps getting hotter, making it convenient for advanced materials. It's a very efficient way of heating chamber with cooling fans. Speaking of fans, we have a strong side fan inside K1. But it has a problem. Despite being strong, its blades are exposed to the outside, meaning you may touch it with your fingers accidentally and get injured easily. I'm not kidding, this fan is so strong. Let me show its power. You definitely should print a cover for this strong fan. Let's check if it affects the suction power of the fan. As a bonus, it makes the fan quieter. Oh, we have another problem with auxiliary fan. If you look at the fan duct, it's lined about 5 mm above the nozzle line, resulting to blow against the fan cover. And it only covers about 50% of the bed. Of course, we need a better fan duct. Let's print one. Oh, it's ready. Now I have to set it up. Here we go again. You might know, K1 doesn't have a built-in camera by default, but you can add one, so I decided to put a camera also, as this fan blast have built-in camera mount. That looks gorgeous, let's fix it. K1 has a problem with its extruder as well. It has under extrusion issues. 
It was a terrible problem with the first release at Cave One printers. If your printer was in the first release, you also should have that problem, because it was a problem with its extruder design. Fortunately, they released a fix for the extruder and provided it almost for free for those who purchased the printer, but I could not get it. So I bought a new designed extruder in AliExpress, but it hasn't arrived yet. So we need a 3D printable solution, which I will show you now. One more problem from Creality Hotend. Quick note, I haven't had that problem yet, but if you look at the community, they are reporting that the ceramic heater is breaking off mid prints and inconsistent temperature readings resulting in self-burning while printing. So to avoid that problems, Creality has newly designed Hotend. Old one is in black socks, which I have, but newly designed ones has red socks. In this way, you can distinguish them. So to avoid that problems, we should change to new one as soon as possible. We should change it to something cooler. This screen is Nomi V2 by BQ. It has nice touchscreen with customizable UI. You can add your own graphics for better aesthetics and better printer control with touchscreen directly on the extruder. As long as we have bigger space on top of our printer, let's make this Poland tube more straight to minimize the filament friction. The things are printed now. Let me show you. Oh, that was quick. 
These designer tool holders take advantage of hidden gems of K1 honeycomb patterns. That means you can design your own tool holder and insert to any honeycomb hole. This smells so fresh! Guys, finally it came! It's a newly designed extruder by Creality. You can see the clear difference between old and new one. Hope it won't make any extrusion problems now. As we upgrade the printer, of course we need different kind of beds. I chose best of them for you. These dual-sided beds have special kind of textures that leave mark on your prints. Especially I like this carbon fiber texture. You can find links to buy them in the video description. I think it's perfect now. Oh no, not now. Wait. Now it's perfect. Oh wow. I fall in love with this thing. Give me a vibe of red Ferrari. You know, I have more ideas that I can't include in this video because it's getting longer than I expected. I tried to include upgrades that I think the best, but I have more ideas to make this machine better. If you want, maybe I'll make the second part of this video. And Creality sent me K1 Max, which is better and bigger version of K1. Maybe I should upgrade it as well? Ok, let me know in comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos, inshallah.